The Sudbury story is, is, a, is a story of success, one of the most damaged landscapes on earth with industry, government, universities, the public working together has made a remarkable improvement in the landscape and the lives of people. I can't really think of anywhere else in, in the world that has been as devastated and has been able to, to come back. Well, I still remember the end of 19, 1978, uh, when, in August, when we went out to the stretch between Pont Consum and Patea, and we went out to see whether any of the grass had actually come up. And then to see these small little grass ceilings emerging on the landscape was a, a, a eureka moment. I have 40 years of work on Sudbury Area Lakes. I spent the first 20 with paper after paper on how horrible everything was. But I've spent the last 20 years of my life documenting the, the pace, the extent, the direction, the regulators of recovery. The bioremediation course for me is a, a course that builds and shows the science of Sudbury, the basic science behind uh, restoration of damaged lands and waters. Part of what Sudbury can offer is reality. This is a reality show. That is exactly a live laboratory. And that's something that you don't find anywhere else. The course will be an excellent example of how you can bring together several decades of research, put it together from both sciences, from the humanities, from policy, from the engineering faculties and onwards, bring it together and show that these, all these components are important. There's not one part that would stand alone. A huge amount of work has been done over the decades, and that's the purpose of, of this course, but credit has to be given to those people in the early 70s for having that vision of what was possible. That's a story that, that can be used as a model you know, for other areas of the world. They're all interested in, in land reclamation because that's sort of what gives you your, your, your social license to operate. It's vital to our business. If, if we don't behave as good corporate citizens, we won't be allowed to mine. What's more important than, than our legacy is the legacy of a model which can be used to deal with other environmental challenges that are out there. Our experience can really tell the whole world, learn from us, and we will share our experience with you. We can rebuild ecosystems. We never looked at the world that way before, but now we're turning it into a science, into a formal process. And that's what makes the regreening story so powerful. Then we truly have created hope for the next generation.